Good morning. Man, not really. It's like 10 o'clock and it's already like 80 something degrees, over 50% humidity. And we are getting at it. So what we're gonna work on right now is getting the gable ends closed in, take the tarps off the roof, and we're gonna put down the underlayment that actually goes down there, the permanent stuff, ready for the tin. So what we have to finish first is all the soffits. And one gable in we can't do until the tin's done, and the other two we can do. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Get the line brought across the street here and get that hooked up for us. So that'll probably be done next week. And then there's a lot of other things that'll be going on next week. Uh, but this week here, we're going to be focused on closing in the building itself, you know, all the soffits underneath, um, getting all the gable ends done that we can without the roof on. The roof should be here this week as well that, while you guys are watching these videos. And then after that, it'll be uh, washing. We have to wash the outside, rinse it off, let it set for a couple days, and then we have to stain the whole thing. Once we stain the whole thing, then we can put in the windows and the doors, okay? So this is, I'm just giving you guys a the process here and after the window windows and doors uh, then we start wa working on stuff that you do on the inside the walls will already be framed up and you know a lot of that stuff will be going on the air conditioning vents and everything will be cutting the floors all that stuff will be done and then we'll start doing like the floors putting the cabinets in finishing the walls and all that stuff so we're you know supposedly have like 19 days left to go so <laughs> I don't know, but I got to get over here and help Gary. We're gonna have to switch up our work routine too. We're kind of, you know, getting late starts and stuff, and maybe we're gonna switch to getting here early in the morning, working for four or five hours, and then going on and doing something else because we're ripping into some hot afternoon temps here. So, and it's only gonna get worse. But I got to get back. Boxing out that there. Show them, show them what you're doing. Tell them about the old school. Old school framing. This soffit will come out even right here. And I will take a piece of cedar, will come here, down to here, it'll be level with this. Then the soffit here on your gable end will come down and butt up against this. And there'll be a small piece of cedar trim right here. Right. That way you're actually bringing the soffit all the way out to the very end. Does it just look better? Or you just like it better? Or what is it? This is what the print said from the law company, so that's what I was doing. There you go. So, and what anyway. you say, sometimes they do it in metal? Yeah, a lot of times in new houses, this is all done in usually aluminum flashing. They just flash it out and that's it and they're done. Right. I put this in about 10 it's about 2 o'clock and it is a scorcher today so the guys are coming in we're gonna have a really good lunch and it smells delicious so we're gonna bring it in Ooh. 
Look at all that juice. And I didn't put any liquid in here at all. This is all just from... Natural food juices. That's right, natural food juices. Let me get a spoon. So we are having a sirloin roast with just some potatoes and some carrots. And then I just put some dehydrated onions and garlic on there and oregano and thyme from the garden. And what store did you get that at? That store is called My Garden. And our land from the beef. It is really getting warm up there. You can hear that dinner bell all the way across the place. You saw this morning when we first started the video, we put that food in there. It was about 10 o'clock this morning. Sun was already ranking, but the first thing you got to know about the sun oven too is it doesn't matter what the outside temperature is. It could be winter time as long as you can see your shadow, you can cook with the it's sun like oven. It's like the groundhog. Yeah, it's pretty slick. So we, the reason why we really lean heavy on it in the summertime is because you know we cook with a wood cook stove, and then we're out here in the outdoor kitchen as well. And the gas costs money, right? So the sun oven was a one-time investment. We cook with the sun every day, all the time in the summertime. So you guys will see a lot more recipes and stuff like that. And even you guys that have air conditioning, I you got a lot of my friends, you know, you don't want to heat up your house. What if you want to bake some bread or cookies? I mean, this is awesome for that too. Right. It cooks it just in the same time you cook in your oven. And it still warms your house up, makes your air conditioner run more, it costs you more money on your monthly bill, and well, more wear and tear on your air conditioner. And not to mention that you cannot burn anything, right? Like the bread and the cookies and stuff comes out so moist and good and you saw the meat that just uh juice that came out of the meat and the potatoes and everything like she said she didn't add anything to it so yeah the thing is is like on like if you leave your bread in there too long it doesn't burn it's just gonna like dehydrate yeah <laughs> pretty much but it doesn't burn i mean it's awesome so. yeah so that's the we best part about it is we can set that thing up have all of our food ready whenever and then go out like if we wanted to stay down there working and working in the heat all we could have so and then it would have been just fine tonight when we rolled in yep. at five or six or whatever so i love it it's good stuff now and the link is at offgoodwithdougandstacy.com we have a coupon code there if you want to save a few bucks plus uh we have like this off good with doug and stacy package with them and you get a neat little cookbook that stacy made so you can have some sun oven recipes and stuff so i don't know it's pretty cool stuff <laughs> All right, I think we're almost ready to eat. Everybody always wants to know what we have for lunch, so we finally got him in on the lunch section here. And I'm first in line. Gary's first in line. He's the VIP. Well, I'm just hungry. Yes. Some good food Some here. Good salad from the garden. We just Stacy clipped it all just before we ate. Well, what she did, my aunt gave me these croissants. Oh yeah, that's from, from the French there. bakery. Yeah. So yeah, that's a cheater. What else did uh, she give you from the French bakery? And the apple pie for Doug. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Shh. <laughs> Doug didn't tell me about an apple pie. No, 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 we don't know anything about it. Don't know anything. So how'd you like lunch? Great. It was really good. We got to get our sun oven out. We haven't tried it yet. You got to try it, man. A lot of people buy them and they leave them in the box. One of the biggest problems people have with the sun oven. Ours is still in the box. I know. That's what happens all the time. But you know what you need to do is pull it out because everybody says as soon as they pull it out, all the rain comes in and they can't use it for months after that. So hurry up and use yours. My blackberries got lots of blackberries on them. I need to get some water on them. All right. I said, since I got those angles cut. It's on here. I should be standing on that board with you there, Gary. What? I said, I don't know if I should stand on that board with you. Why not? Board take two. It's all about the angles, man. Oh, 
Success. Hydrate. Oh, joking around. Make sure you guys, if you're out here working on these homesteads this summer and you're new to this stuff, you better stay hydrated. You're gonna wake up face down and you won't like it. And it causes a lot of other problems. Keep staying dehydrated over and over. Strokes. Long term, strokes. We're gonna talk about that. We keep saying we're gonna, but we are. We're gonna sit down and talk about it. We're so busy with this house. Let us get finished with the house build, then when everything's gonna slow down and get back to normal. But we're gonna talk about that. Chronic dehydration. So make sure you guys are staying hydrated out there. And put a little salt in your water. Is it gonna work, Gary? Is it gonna work?
That is day 50 in the books. That's one thing about the heat. You guys got to take that into consideration if you guys are getting new at this stuff. That's the third mouse house I found in this wood here. See it right there? That's the third one. Well, yeah, you guys got to take into account the heat. We had uh, over 90 degrees today and over 50% humidity. And it, can, it really wears on you. So you have to pace yourself. Yeah, so with uh, summer coming on and with the heat coming on, you know, it could get a little dangerous. So you guys got to make sure you're staying hydrated out there. You know, drinking lots of water. I probably went through a gallon and a half of water today. And we're staying on top of Gary, making sure he's drinking his water. Stacy brought some water down and some ice and Marge and them. They actually went up there and made us a special hydrating drink. If you guys haven't tried our Haymakers Punch, actually I'll leave a video for it. How about that? It's gonna be right here. <laughs> And I'll put it at the end of this video. It's called Haymakers Punch. It's a drink from the 1800s, and it is tasty in the summertime. It really quenches your thirst. You know, stay out of the stores. That Gatorade, all that stuff is garbage. Don't drink that stuff. It's not good for you. Food coloring, all kinds of stuff in there. Make it yourself, all natural. It's called Haymakers Punch. And the old timers used to make it in the summertime after they did the hay. And that's why they call it Haymakers Punch. And it helped re get the electrolytes back in them, help cool them off, and give them that good, satisfying feeling. You know, when you're really thirsty and you drink something, you get that good, satisfying feeling. So that's what that does. Hey, 1800s. The link is uh, going to be at the end of this video. You can, all you got to do is just use your mouse. and, Or if you got a phone, just tap it. It'll just take you right to the next video. You can watch it right after this. All right, so let me give you guys a preview of what's coming up next, okay? Next up, we're going to finish the battens over there. We haven't showed you how those battens go on, and then that, that side will be totally enclosed. And then we have, uh, we're have we gonna start putting the soffits in on this side, and then just keep working around and doing the other stuff. So thanks for coming to the homestead, as always. We appreciate you guys stopping by, and make sure you stay hydrated.